install the hyperterminal. Now you must be thinking what is hyperterminal. Like for example, when we uh, code a program for Python, we use a PyCharm, right? So when we code a program for Java, we use Eclipse or IntelliJ IDID. So these are different different IDs, right? Similarly for uh, terminals, we have the CMD, that is the basic terminal. We have Git Bash. We have a hyperterminal also. There are there are many difference between the Git Bash and the hyperterminal. Okay, and hyperterminal is mostly used by many of the developers also nowadays because a uh, hyperterminal comes up with a lot of customization. Like you can have plugins, you can have so many things. It is highly customizable regarding the format, the font size, the font color. Also, it has a lots of themes like. Uh, in Visual Studio, right, you have a lot of theme, like it should be dark, light. So you have so many themes and hyper terminal. Also compared to the Git Bash, the hyper terminal is quite fast. So let's move to the installation part. So if you're installing hyper, I will give the link in the description below. So you can have a look at it. If you click on that link, you will be navigated to this page. Now, if you're having Mac OS, click on this. If you have Windows, click on this. So I'm having Windows, so I will be clicking on this version. So now here you can see that the hyper setup that is exe file is being downloaded over here. So I will now click over here. Okay, so this is the hyper terminal that you have over here. It is similar to the git bash, but it has a lot of features as compared to git bash. So I would recommend to download the hyper terminal, but if you're really comfortable with the git bash, you can go with it. So this is the hyper terminal that you have. Now there's one thing that you need to do. So now if you're a Mac OS user, you don't really need to do this, but if you're using Windows, you need to change the log file. That is the config file over here. So for that, you need to go to edit, go on preferences, and over here, just control A and delete the entire thing. Now I will be giving this link of a GitHub account. You need to copy this uh, entire uh, log file that you have over here and you need to paste it over there. This is for the Windows users only. So I will copy this and paste it over here and control S. I'll close this now and I will close this as well now. Okay, so here you can see we have installed the hyper terminal. So this is the uh, folder that we created the test shepherd folder. If I right click here, I can see that open hyper here. So I'll click on open hyper here. So now if I uh, right touch file uh, file 2.txt and then if I write get status, here it sees on branch master your branch is up to date but it, uh, there is an untracked file over here so now if i write git add and a dot so all the files are tracked if i write git status again and then it says that changes to be committed now git now if you want to commit it you can write git commit and dash m and after that your commit message that is the first commit or something whatever you want to write you can write it over here after committing we can add our remote origin and after writing our remote origin we have to push the file so this is the entire process you can use the entire process by in the hyper terminal as well if you're using the git bash it's the same process if you're using the hyper terminal it's the same process